Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Thingster.com, and in today's video, I want to welcome our new Thingster freelance student, Abhishek. Welcome, Abhishek, to the freelancer course. You are not the first Abhishek that, uh, who joined the freelancer course, I think, a month or two months, months ago. I, I created the welcome video welcoming another Abhishek. So I thought, first of all, I, first I thought you are, you are actually uh, uh, join, rejoining again, um, but then I checked it and I saw that you are actually a different person. So welcome, appreciate you joining the course. Um, in these welcome videos, I first of all, I want to, want to welcome you and uh, give you this warm, fuzzy feeling of, uh, of being a part, a new part of the Thingster community and um, knowing that we care about you and your success. But second of all, I want to give you some utility, right? So I want to give you something useful that you can use for your own freelancing um, career for you f f to to give you some ideas how so so I mean initially I understand that it is ve like it's very tough to actually see the opportunities at the beginning. It's just like you see the forest but you don't see no it's like the other way around <laughs> you see the individual trees but you don't see the forest and um and um but let me tell you so from from some somebody who has been in the industry for years for ma for many years and who, who has seen thousands and tens of thousands of opportunities it is like there's infinite opportunity as a freelancer you can create a thriving business you can uh, earn a lot of money um focusing on tiny niches that you thought are too small to be actually a, a, a tr an addressable market but for you as a freelancer you can just own those niches and you can double down on, on those niches and often they are not ob non-obvious niches so you can for example um, this is one interesting niche i found uh, for google analytics tracking right and it is not a traditional coding niche or in the Python space or so but as a Python coder if you are a coder you usually you don't have any problem setting up some Google Analytics tracking code on a web page, right? This is very simple stuff. You just copy paste uh, JavaScript and copy paste it into a, into a website's header and, um, and then you set up some two, three more uh, things. It's very simple stuff you can do in a couple of minutes as a programmer. It's not challenging for you. But for a normal business owner who ha doesn't have a lot of experience with code and everything, they just, I mean, if they see code, they are already overwhelmed, right? Um, and and for you as a coder, you can just, you, you can just leverage this, uh, of the complexity, the uh, seem seemingly complex, uh, uh, complex code, and uh, and and solve it for them, right? So this is one Upwork gig I found for that pays 200 bucks to actually more or less set up Google Google Analytics tracking code. And you would say uh, nobody is actually uh, nobody is actually purchasing the gig, but you are wrong. You see, like this guy has 363 reviews. And only a fraction of the of the people actually uh, the, of the clients hiring you will actually review you if you if the so m many of them will rate you but not all of them will review you. So this gig, I would say, is probably thousands of clients have hired uh, this guy for 200 bucks each. And um, and uh, the setup. So what he offers is like tag manager setup. It's like very basic stuff for you as a programmer. It's very simple to do, but it doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to create value. This is a this is the I think the key differentiation that many don't see. So even if you're a complete beginner with code, you can already create value, right? You can uh, find those type of small niches where you can create some value for people who are much less proficient with code. You don't have to be the best coder to create value. You just have to be better than somebody else to actually solve a certain gig, right? You don't have to always develop a Python script to create some value. There are many ways to create value. And oftentimes it doesn't involve code. It just involves a genuine human being who actually wants to, uh, wants to, wants to help the other, the other human being, right? And um, if you just think for yourself, if, 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 if somebody actually has a business problem, then just solve it for them, right? And you can get paid in the process. Why not? I mean, what is the what is the thing? Why do you need this label Python freelancer? Actually, you don't, right? So you, it is just just labeling. It is in traditional em, uh, employee-based systems. We we always like we always want to want to have a job role, job description. But as a freelancer, why? If we if 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 we can get, provide value in different ways, and the market appreciates value in some ways more than in other ways, then we just should pursue the ways that actually work and should should dive into the areas that are valuable for clients, right? And this one obviously is valuable. So thousands of clients hiring hire that guy just to set up 
uh, simple Google Analytics uh, uh, dashboard. If you don't know Google Analytics, it's just a, a dashboard to actually track the uh, track for a website um, the usage from. It's very simple to set up, as I said. It's just copy pasting some code into into some headers and doing some follow up steps that are always the same that you can't figure out by what by watching two three uh, YouTube tutorials. But the business owner obviously they they don't want to do this. They would have to spend hours and hours, and they, their hours are worth much more than two hundred bucks. So they are happy to actually pay you two hundred bucks to to get this done and um, and yeah to focus on their business. Okay, so um, uh, so this is this is one like one w little gig, but there are like uh, hundreds of those little small gigs that are very simple for coders to figure out in the in the um, in the web analytics um, uh, sub niche uh, within the marketing niche. And you can see as a as a coder, you don't don't always have to actually check out the IT niche. So like if you are very narrow minded, you would just look at say. Uh, you would dive into the IT niche and then in the sub niche Python and would only look there for some gigs for some value that you can create. But as a coder, actually, you can also go into marketing, writing, and stuff, and just combine different skills you have and you like. Try try to figure out what you already can do that is simple for you, where you actually think you don't it is not valuable for clients, and then check out whether some guys actually make money off those skills you already have, and then use this to actually. To to create a, and to 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 push into the freelancing industry overall, gain some ratings, gain some experience, and then use it to create more and more types of gigs and f double down on the gigs that work, and just just move on with the gigs that don't work. And it's a very very simple strategy, very simple success formula as a freelance developer, but it works. It works very beautifully. Okay, so anyway, um, Abhishek, I uh, appreciate you joining the course. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for, uh, for uh, joining the community and see you in the course. Bye.